as photometric stereo requires parallel light rays, the lighting used needs to be bright enough and evenly spreading with no fallouts. Take this photo for example. When photographing these two leaves, we place a piece of white paper under them. We can see the intensity of the light varies in the corners. It's because the light we use fell off somehow, and this will cause a problem in the analyzing of source images. What problem will there be? Let's look at an example. I created this 3D scene with Blender and will use it to examine a lighting. We have taken source images with light coming from 16 directions, and in all these images, there are light follows, resulting in different degrees of brightness at the corners. We will import these images to details capture. We get a normal map like this, one half predominantly blue and the other red. In fact, this is inaccurate. As we all know, RGB components correspond to the X, Y, and Z coordinates respectively of the surface normal. So such a normal map indicates a curved object instead of a horizontal one. However, as you see, the module we created is horizontal. Clearly, there is something wrong with the normals, and this problem is caused by the uneven lighting. Here are the source images generated with sunlight coming from 16 different directions. And this is the normal map we get, which signifies a horizontal object. The normals are OK now. In conclusion, Obvious follows of light will result in an incorrect normal map, just like this one, and this will lower the accuracy of the final image. So please make sure your light sources provide bright light and that there are no light follows in the photographing area. We'll add to details capture a feature that allows us to solve the problem of light follows.